Hi everyone, I'm Zi Jing Song, a year one PhD student at City University of Hong Kong School of Creative Media. I'm speaking on behalf of Ya Ting Sun from Academy of Art University and RLC from City University of Hong Kong School of Creative Media. I will present our work, Drizzle, a data comic magazine we produce for positive climate change influence. As we all know, climate change is a major crisis of our generation, but people often regard climate change issue as remote and impersonal. Therefore, changing the mindset of non-scientific communities and climate change skeptics is difficult. Climate communication strategies should use more personal strategies like storytelling and visual communication to develop pro-environmental behaviors and attitudes. These long-term behaviors for social good need to activate intrinsic motivation, which can develop when experiencing narratives along with particularly social purpose. We can find in this page, on a physical level, climate change involves a lot of phenomena like consumption, natural resource limitation, increase in population, and lack of policies in sustainability. These issues are not addressed here since the directly imposing evidence and the scientific facts on the public is not an effective way to change human behavior. Therefore, creative climate communication is needed. We intend to address this issue on a human level, addressing phenomena like immediate gratification, human myopia, taking comfort in ignorance, belief in lack of individual influence, and more. Therefore, we use the medium of the comic, which can easily capture even climate skeptics' attention and promote climate awareness by using appealing visual communication. We apply a novel journal of data comics, which combine design fiction and data visualization in the form of comics to generate an appealing and persuasive climate action narration. Design fiction means producing artifacts. In this case, it's the data comic magazine that allows us to narrate the possible future and take an implicit way to affect people. Well, in the next few minutes, let me show the project video of this creative climate communication. In the next part, I will introduce the project background. This is the big picture of our research topic. Evidence suggests that narratives can strengthen the attitude-behavior relationship. So reading climate fiction may help activate pro-environmental behavior in individuals who already have strong pro-environmental attitudes. Based on the previous research, um, climate fiction leads to greater public understanding of negative consequences caused by climate change compared with reading about research. However, there is no strong evidence to show climate storytelling is more persuasive than communicating evidence in real life. This is also the gap we want to address. In scientific communication, illustration plays significant roles as visual explanation that reflect a complex concept. Comic can engage wider audience with its visual and character-driven approaches. Therefore, comic and visualization become more effective in climate communication. Additionally, speculative visualization has the potential to combine data visualization and graphic design to show data in a meaningful and effective way while being accessible to general public. Therefore, combining the influence of design fiction and data visualization may create more effective climate change communication. 
to effectively achieve data visualization and engage viewers in decoding the message and making informed decisions beyond the limitation of complex data, more recent attention has focused on the data comics. It applies the narrative concepts and the visual information of traditional comics to express data-related insights. In the following part, I will introduce more details of our data comics drizzle, including story designs, comic designs, and exhibition plan. As is shown in this page, the work may be read as a simple comic rather than a form of climate fiction. And the titles of story also reflect subtle cues. We design five stories to address different human phenomena related to climate change. Including Sonia McDougall, New Revolio, VO, Redemption Park, and Every Flash of Light is the Song of Another World. And all these stories are related to our design purpose. For example, Sonia McDougall mentions countering myopia. New Revolio tells a story about community of sharing. Redemption Park's attempt to fix the waste problem. We will emphasize the significance of individual's effort, and every flash of light is the song of another world mentions individual responsibility. Well, I will use the first story, Sonia McDougall, as an example to tell more details about our comic design. It's a story based on the structure of rebirth. It tells the story of a shoe business entrepreneur named Sonia, who must make a decision about her company. Whether to invest in long-term research and development, or to push the product widely to the general public, in her personal life, she takes the approach of immediate needs and gratification, as opposed to settling down. Then, after choosing to maximize profit in her professional life, the business fails, teaching Sonia an important lesson in the reverse scene. She realized she should consider a long-term plan and decide to take action in her prof in her personal life. To finally settle down with her boyfriend, the illustration uses a science fiction comic book style, which is more suitable to show the story scene. The yet-to-be-produced shoes, which works in any weather and can predict the rain using electronics. To show the turning point in Sonia's life after the business failure, we show the eyes open on a mirror to indicate self-reflection. Then the shoe business building a diagonal position to indicate failing, followed by eyes closing, which signals the reverse structure that also hopes to change the audience's own viewpoint from immediate need to long-term views. This movement builds the change undergone by the character using aspect trans tra transitions as a way to apply environmental storytelling to the work. The reverse scenes is emphasized in the recurrent science structure during Sonia's two encounters with her boyfriends. To achieve data visualization, one panel with a graph was added to show the increase in randomness of day-to-day -day rainfall, which is used to support the idea of research and development for future gains of the company in order to create smart rainproof shoes. To keep the balance between data and context in our work, we are in pushing forward the narrative. A distribution map on typhoon incidents in current and future times was given in the storytelling line. Please note that we use the narrative data instead of real data since uh, we attempt to tell the story of future situation. Another story I want to talk in detail is New Revolia. The character Winston experienced a memorable train since the shipwreck. And the visitors had no choice but to survive in the Antarctic. During the trip, they learned everything you consume is what you produce. And the two panels in New Revolia are example of data visualization. First, a graphic map implicitly explains the main reasons for the shipwreck, the mute of glacier caused by the global warming. In the following turning point, a heated discussion about the social views among two groups of characters, scientists and businessmen, occurred, and one scientist put forward a reasonable solution to distribute food equally. 
Then the full distribution plan is visualized using graphics that not only indicate the idea of the plan, but also using, the, but also use the form of the data graphic in showing people and their carbon footprint to narrate the idea of sharing responsibility in the context of the story. And thanks so much for the DACA exhibition team. Our Data Comics Drizzle is also exhibiting physically and online in this month. Well, in the final section, I will introduce our research funding to explore how people evaluate the influences and the effectiveness of two selected climate comics, Sunil McDougall and the New Revolio. Online surveys are conducted. The questionnaire was divided into five sections, including basic information, re reaction to Sonia McDougall and the new revolio, the purpose of comics, their report of climate attitudes, and a donation gain, which can be found via the web page link in this page. The questionnaire was made and distributed in the Google survey form. And the participants were recruited and paid through an online research participant recruitment platform, Polyf. We collected 43 feedback. We used an R studio to process and analyze the data. The participant short response to questions about interpretation of particular aspects of the story was then qualitative coded and analyzed. Well, first I will talk about our quantitative funding. Uh, in general, participants reported being quite positive about the way the design of story and data visualize contributes to learning about climate change. Especially in the Sonia McDougall story, there's a significant difference between the way people perceive the climate change purpose as opposed to the edification of a physical resource level indicating that the story designs lead readers to consider the idea of future directed thinking, the causing of the story, more than the physical aspect of climate change. However, the positivity about climate change can be due to the self-reported support of climate change. For the climate change attitude scale revealed a general agreement of over 80% about full skill in every question in the survey. Uh, for example, in the question, how strongly do you believe the facts and data of climate change? And the question, how strongly do you agree climate change will impact future generation and more? This indicates that readers already report highly on proclaiming attitude. Therefore, the story may not be tested against the population that are climate change skeptics. Well, let's move on to the final part, the qualitative funding. Uh, when asking about the story best questions, including individual reaction to specific story plot, graph, and the decision of character, future development of stories, actual, participants got a better understanding based on data visualization, including visual symbols, colors, shapes, and size. In particular, they mentioned the benefit of data visualization for aiding credibility and, uh, and acceptability to narrations in comics. However, some participants may consider, reconsider the rationality of stories based on the accuracy of data shown in comics. Therefore, designers should be more cautious in selecting and presenting reliable and scientific data in the storytelling context if they are used to persuading traditional argument strategy. For instance, several responses query the fairness of the distribution plan shown in the graphic based on the personal understanding and re reflection. In addition, response from participants who already have good climate change awareness suggests that Data Comics is a more engaging form for viewers. Uh, for example, participant 44 mentioned that I'm already well informed on the subject, but it definitely engaged my interest and blah, blah, blah. Uh, however, several participants mentioned that data may become ex-generated and, and fictitious during the process of visualization. 
uh, for example, participant six uh, said that the data in the comic is more fictional than the scientific data. Uh, also, participant eight said that the comic may be present some ex exaggeration due to the impacts in the re in the viewer and also add some color and shapes. Uh, in summary, also participants may feel confused about the accuracies of data in comics and fictional story. They still prefer data comics as a creative climate change communication. Like participant 14 mentioned, uh, the data from the comic is very gener gen generalized and uh, impressive, but it is uh, expressive and attracts the reader's attention. Based on the analysis of participants' willingness to adopt pro-climate change action, a limitation of data comics was the lines of stories. Participants emphasized the significance of the lines of storylines, which can make audience immersive in the story's environment. Uh, on the other hand, participants also point out that re they realize that the, ur the urgency of climate change not only from reading these climate action comics. And just like participant 36 said, uh, not from the comic alone. Therefore, to further support the effectiveness of data visualization in climate comics, designers should think more about the connection between narrations and the specific situation in reality, which may enable users to take pro-climate change behaviors. Um, just like participant 14 mentioned, uh, it is important to show specific situation with which the reader can identify and imagine himself in the future. That's the end of my presentation and thank you so much for your listening.